To begin, we need to make a slip knot with our yarn. And we're going to take our material and pinch, pinch the yarn right there. You're going to wrap the tail end around and back through that loop that was around your thumb. Hold the top loop up there and pull down tight. Now you adjust it with the working side yarn, the long piece. You can pull it like that to make the loop the size you need it. So pull it down onto your hook like so. And this is considered our first chain. We need to chain 32. So the way you do that is you're going to wrap the hook around the yarn, pull it up through the loop. Wrap it around, pull it up. So we need 32. We have our chained 32 stitches. And what we do now, this is an important part, is we want to make sure that the chain is straight and lying flat. So a good way to do that is to lie it down and press it out, straighten anything that looks twisted. And then you're going to take the tail end and the end that your hook is still on, and you want to wrap it like so, because we're needing to make a complete circle that's all going in the same direction. You're going to put your needle through this very first chain, and we're going to slip stitch. Now it's better if the working yarn is on this side of your piece. So we go in through this first chain, and we're going to slip stitch. And that is just wrapping the material around your hook, pulling it through that chain, and now through the loop on your hook. And that's it. Now we've completed the circle. This is the piece that goes around the neck. The next step is going to be half double crochet all the way around the entire circle. So to get started, you chain two, one, two, and a half double crochet, wrap the material around your hook. This is our next stitch, so that's the one we're going in. Go in through that, wrap the material again, and pull it up through. Now we have three loops on our hook. Wrap again and pull it through all three. Again, wrap. This is our next loop. Wrap again and pull a loop up. Wrap again, pull it through all three. We're finishing up row one. We're back around to the tail. This is where we chained up two for the beginning of the row. You see that's one, two, and there's a connecting chain. I like to slip stitch through this connecting chain because it helps close up this hole a little better. So go through that one on the end, wrap your material around, pull it through that, and through the loop on your hook, and that completes row one. Now to begin row two, chain up two, and we're going to half double crochet all the way around. Our first stitch is right here. and continue all the way around. 